then uh, one more practical binary to gray code converter go to new project you can write code one any other name you want to give okay hierarchical block okay you can get this kind of output schematic one uh, page one this is hierarchical block yes again and you can remove this one also this binary to gray converter so we need four inputs and four outputs you will have to put lot of inputs over here and outputs also so press in between you will get edge highlighted and place the inputs like if i'm placing uh, inputs if i'm i'm considering it as binary so b um, like in1 in2 already i have so b3 i will put not to create any confusion so b3 uh, i can put anywhere i want to like See, you have to maintain this sequence. Whatever sequence you uh, write here, you have to maintain that, and you have to understand the accordingly. Uh, you can end mode and again uh, uh, press in the middle, and uh, highlighted edge will be there. G uh, one. Uh, see, out is already there, so you can put G one uh, for gray, and you can place these out anywhere you want. All the three outputs. I will use a wire. Uh, because I need to give voltage markers also later, so I will use a wire for this. And and then so I am done with this. I have to place uh, here source go to digital clock and press OK and place. So again, you will have to use wire for this and connect the inputs with the respective IN1 you have selected for yourself, then IN2, and then in the end, you have to select this one. Now, this is done. Press these wires because this red light is showing, which will create problem later. You can change any one of the inputs. For example, I'm changing this. So I can make it 0.3 for number of inputs. Otherwise, I will have similar. Of course, off time, on time, decide like 1010. So I need more uh, samples to be to understand the output. So this is done. I have to go to uh, the schematic two page and draw the diagram now. Uh, so you will have to take care of the out now in this case whatever you have taken over there you will have to take the same inputs over here first of all we will take inputs so p uh, port l this is output actually. i will mark outputs four outputs i am marking them and then i will rename them because uh, i know this is like g i took g uh, one so if i if i'm not wrong i will change it required And this is G3. Fine. Okay. And then I will have to use inputs also. So I'm going to P again. And I will use P for booth R because I need inputs. Okay. So here I'm placing these two inputs because total I need four inputs. Two inputs are already there. And this is B3, B3, and B4. Binary. Because for binary, we are using this one. Let me check hierarchical ones because I am not sure if I took G1, G2, G3 or what like uh, I'm not sure about G1, G2, G3. Uh, right, I'm I'm absolutely right. I I I did proper properly. So here, uh, so I'm back again here. The circuit. I have to place XOR gates. Uh, so eval, go to eval and press like. 7486 which is XOR gate 7486 we need three XOR gates here so I will be placing them here 1, 2 and 3 I'm done and more you can see if anything is touching you can uh, you know, relocate uh, the gates everything is fine so I don't have to worry about it this has to be connected with the out directly uh, no other connection you can there. drop over and then press okay 
now this one you will have to give to the other input of your gate and the first one is like this okay okay done now here it is like like this uh, i did a mistake actually because i have to take one of the inputs from here so i can take it like this also you have to take like these two input press it once because it will not drop over anything input you will have to take and do it done remaining wires you have to connect to the output accordingly this you have to connect to the output again okay this again you will have to give it to output fine it's done my work is over in this particular circuit i can minimize this i can go to the hierarchical block i can maximize that i can go to p spice new simulation profile give some random name and then create it once you create it will start blinking and then you can put it like 10 microseconds press okay and after that you can place voltage markers okay like this voltage markers at the input and four at the output after that you have to press run so i got the output finally so i got the output uh, you can see the output over here uh, for example uh, these are your four four inputs starting ones so it is like 101111 for 11 it is 1000 so i'm getting the results okay uh in one and out are generally same which you can see here any other input you want to check 0100 it gives me 0011 so i think it's working fine so this is how it works thank you so much